Well, speaking of movies, the Oscars are coming up this Sunday, and in the run-up, nominated composers, songwriters, and performers gathered in Beverly Hills for a special lunch and to discuss their work. For best original song, the nominees are Simple Song Number Three from Youth. David Lang wrote Simple Song Number Three in the movie Youth, written and directed by Paolo Sorrentino. He's a full-time classical composer, but had never written for film before. Yeah, it's pretty exciting and very uh, unlooked for. I mean, I didn't expect it, and uh, you know. But the reason why I'm here is because Paolo Sorrentino had this really crazy idea to build a movie around a song. Competing against Lang is veteran film composer Carter Burwell, nominated for his score for Carol, in which the music itself plays a leading role. There's an overture at the beginning of the movie, and then of course the ending is a very big thing, right? Because there's no dialogue again, and the music basically plays the, you know, the narrative of the ending. Um, but in a lot of other areas, it was about, let's not say this yet, let's hold back a little bit of melody, let's make it a little, make it a suspense film. Among the nominees for Best Original Song is Till It Happens to You from The Hunting Ground, written by Diane Warren and performed by Lady Gaga. Warren has now been nominated eight times, though she has never taken home a statuette. You know what? It's all, it's all amazing. I was probably more excited with this than, than any of them, just because this song's so special, she's special, this is... It, look, it's always, it's always great to be nominated, it really is. I mean, think of how many songs are out a year. You know, hundreds, thousands in, in, in movies, and the fact that, that someone picked this song, it's amazing. Gaga isn't the only big name nominee in this category. Grammy winner Sam Smith is also nominated for Writings on the Wall from Bond movie Spectre. Smith felt his songs sounded different from other Bond songs, but also retained a classical feel to it. That's what I felt made it different to, um, to the other Bond songs that, that feel classic in that way. I wanted to inject a bit of our lyric and, about, and the way that we write songs, which is so vulnerable. And I think for Bond that's very strange to do that. So that's, that's what I wanted to do. The 88th Annual Academy Awards Ceremony will take place on Sunday the 28th of February at the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood, Los Angeles. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.